we're back with more of the Guy Dawson Show at WCOBM.com, the World Center of Broadcast Media. Again, my name is Guy Dawson, the managing member of Classic Communications, and we are broadcasting live from the Gene Woods Racing Experience here in Las Vegas. You guys, it's been a pretty windy last couple of days. Wet. Oh, yeah. Time to go fly a kite, huh? Yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, take a, become a part of Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Take a kid out and fly a kite. Fly a kite. Fly a kite with a kid. Just take them out with you. That mean, that'll mean the world to them. That's truly all it is with, with our organization. Yeah, that was something that I really enjoyed. What about you, Kelvin? You ever go out and fly a kite with someone? <laughs> you know, I want to, my girls, watch out. You know, we, we definitely <laughs> need to make some time to go and fly a kite. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Outstanding time. I had one of my best experiences with my son. He's 15 years old right now, but he was around four. And it was the one time in all these years that we actually got together and went and flew, fly, uh, flew a kite. And, you know, when a <laughs> kid is four years old, everything is just a wonder to them. So he was oh, yeah. trying to figure out how does the kite go up in the air and how do you keep it up there. Right. Yeah. How yeah. high can it go? <laughs> right. Is it going to pull you into the air with it? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. So, you know, we're we're talking, I guess, on on a couple of levels today because I want both of, of these young men to promote the the endeavors that they're involved in. But we're also, I guess, going to be spending some time talking about young people and the value of of contributing to society by by encouraging our youth to be involved in mm-hmm. constructive things. Kelvin, I know you, you're a very busy guy involved as an entrepreneur. Well, maybe you want to talk to us about your other entrepreneurial endeavor, uh, ABC Consulting. Um, well, uh, like, like you said, Guy, uh, I am the owner of ABC Consulting, and we specialize in digital marketing and helping business owners connect to their customers. And now with the Cheer Gym, we've been running that uh, close to eight years, our own uh, facility and our own program. And I know as a small business owner, I needed to do a lot of email marketing and social media marketing and getting the word out there, especially with a business like a gym where we need clients on a daily basis and we need them to repeat. So now we try to help other business owners that are trying to get their message out and trying to communicate, whether it's a product, a service, and even nonprofits that are looking for more volunteers and or donorship. And that's an ongoing process when you're a business owner staying in front of people, which is a, it, it's another form of mentoring people because I'm a big believer in email marketing and staying in front of people through that awareness of sending them out something that lets them know that you're doing business. Mm -hmm. And I agree. And that's the biggest thing. I think we call it top of mind. And um, whether it's email marketing, whether it's social media, you just want to make sure you stay top of mind. And if there's any business owners out there, um, don't be scared of social media or the digital world. Um, I think the time that you're going to invest is going to be worth the return that you're going to receive and new customers, branding, and, and hopefully just an overall better business. I agree with you know, with Kelvin completely, and really, it's just a matter of being committed to to your marketing. And the one way, simple, cost effective way to do that really is to just send out emails on a consistent basis, talking about things that you're doing or or offering offering valuable information, which is a something that I know that you do a lot with your email marketing. Is not only do you send out buy my widget, buy my widget, buy my widget, because that's what everyone does. But mm-hmm. it's also a combination of that and offering information that is valuable to someone so that they remember you by the, the valuable piece of, of, of information that you gave them. And I say that if you're a business owner, I hope that you're an expert in your field and at least study and training to be an expert in your field. And if that's the case, you want to get that knowledge out to your customer, out to your audience. And all of you business owners out there, there's something special about you or there's a special niche that you have and get that word, get that information into your customer's hands and then they're going to refer you and you're going to see a lot more repeat business. And you both are some pretty prodigious business networkers, Kyle. I know you are part of the team referral network, one of the networking groups that I am a part of. And Mm -hmm. How did Big Brother and Big Sisters come to be a part of that organization? Um, so I'm also uh, an ambassador with the um, Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce, very active with that chamber. And one of my friends um, in that committee got me connected to Team Referral Network uh, last year. And I was a guest a couple of times. I, I thought it was pretty cool, a uh, very family-oriented setting. Everyone you know, kind of knows each other. Um, no competing industries or companies, so it was very professionally organized. Um, and then I found out that it was free for nonprofits to join, which is a great perk. 
So I obviously jumped on that opportunity. And I've been a member since. And uh, I'm going to say met you there last year. And uh, you've been very gracious to, to me and my organization over the past few months and uh, offered us a tremendous promotion for our fundraisers, which help us stay afloat as a nonprofit organization. And, and we're very grateful for that. So thank you. I think Byron is amazing. Oh, I yeah, had never heard of that before uh, for a business networking group to actually let nonprofit organizations come in for I free. I think it's a wonderful concept. It's a great concept. Byron Espinosa is an incredible networker and connector. And I, he's actually invited me to travel with him to a number of his chapters. I believe there are about six team referral network chapters around the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, he's invited me to travel with him and, and, and make my push and, you know, um, expand my, uh, my, my audience and really, you know, broaden my, my reach with that so I can get more mentors or our main focus and, and also raise more money for, to support our mentoring relationships. It's a pretty good, so. really a pretty good platform too. Yeah, yeah. F- for public relations is being able to visit these different networking groups mm-hmm. because there's a great book out there, by the way, for anyone who wants to be a better business networker called Endless Referrals. Mm-hmm. And in that book, they talk about the, the fact that every person knows at least 250 people. Yep. So when you meet a person, you're basically meeting a lot of people mm-hmm. if you know how to ask the right questions. And so for mm-hmm. a nonprofit organization to be allowed to do that, move around a lot, yeah. it, Our reach is there exponential. has to be a residual effect that comes from that. The, the notoriety. So anyone out there who has a nonprofit organization, you might want to take advantage of that. You can do that in, in the team referral network. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Seriously consider it. Yeah. And you, Kelvin, you do a little bit of networking. I do a little bit of networking. And I definitely More than a little bit of networking, <laughs> right? And I think the biggest thing about networking is making valuable relationships and it's not just meeting people or, or collecting a business card because that, that, that's horrible when you just go out there and you have all these business cards but you've never followed up you've never you know liked them on social media and and you never attend any of their events or so you want to make connections but make sure they're valuable especially if you're going to take the time to network right right yeah I've had the experience especially being in a marketing person is going in someone's office and seeing a stack of business cards this high where there's no system that it's been run through. So basically you've got all these wonderful people who you met who don't know anything about you because their business card is sitting um, in your office. You're right, there has to be some kind of way to convert the people that you meet into actual relationships because that's what it's really all about when it comes mm-hmm. to networking. Absolutely, and, that, and that's the, the beauty of you know smaller, uh, more focused networking groups like Team Referral Network because it's it's not as large as you know maybe a, a mixer you may go to, which, which are great in their own right. You may meet a hundred people over the course of a night or or an afternoon. Um, but at Team Referral Network, you see the same people over and over every single week, every for us every Tuesday morning, and um, you know we truly get validation um, just because we're able to to learn each other's business inside and out and hear our sixty second commercial, each other's commercials every single week, um, and truly be able to refer our colleagues and our partners as as if they're a part of our own sales team. So that's that's the beauty of, you know, smaller networking groups like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah because you, you start to build that relationship and then you learn from experience mm-hmm. how well this person can produce yep. whatever it is yep. that they do. So you have much more of a background about businesses mm-hmm. and one of the things that I hear about a lot being in PR is clients coming to me who got burned by people who they got off Google, and I'm not saying that it's you know horrible to Google someone, and I tell you what, if you Google them and they have all these bad reviews, <laughs> that might be a sign. <laughs> That'd be a red flag. If they've got a lot of bad Yelp reviews, or if they've got bad reviews anywhere on the internet, yeah. you might want to reconsider <laughs> doing business with them. But I see that a lot, and one of the ways that you can cut to the chase and not necessarily have to experience that is to be a part of a networking group because you learn a little bit about the person and their background. Yeah. Now that face-to-face interaction, is, there's no substitute for that. Yeah. I mean, being able to shake their hand, um, get, get to know their first and last name and their, like I said, their business inside and out from a first-person perspective, there's, there's no substitution for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And learning about their background and what they're, uh, they've done in business. We're going to take a short commercial break and be back with more of The Guy Dawson Show at WCO. 